3 John verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. So the word prosper in 3 John verse 2, it literally means to help along the way, to help on the journey, to succeed in reaching, to have a prosperous journey. That's what it literally means. Now, I believe that this verse is one of the best definitions of what biblical prosperity is. God desires to help us on our journey. God desires that we succeed in reaching the fulfillment of our life's journey. God desires that we have a prosperous journey in every area of our lives, in all things, in our health, and also in our soul. Now, how do we understand this? Let's look at it from a very broad perspective. Let me ask you a question first. Does God have a will for every believer? Yes or no? Does God have a will for your life? Does God have a destiny and a purpose for you? Yes. But we know that it is different for every believer. Yes or no? Not everyone is called to be in full-time ministry, to be in missions, even though all of us can be involved in missions and in soul saving. For example, Moses was a deliverer. David was a king. Elijah was a prophet. Saul was an apostle. And yet all of them success, successfully fulfilled their journey in life, even though their callings were different. Today, our callings or our occupations are different. Some of you are called as politicians. Some are in government. Some are as engineers. Some are musicians, writers, business people, and so on. Maybe even a housewife for your whole entire life. Maybe you will be a chokidar your whole life. Maybe you'll be a driver. Different occupations, but all connected to the same purpose of extending the kingdom of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, missions, soul saving, and all. But all of us expressing God's purposes in different arenas, in different occupations and capacities. Do you agree with that? Now, is it God's will that all of us, wherever we are, fulfill our destiny and purpose? Yes. Now, the purpose and the destiny that God has for you is your journey in this life. That is the road on which you are traveling. And everyone is traveling on a different road. We should never judge somebody's journey because we have never been in his shoes. Politicians, bureaucrats, business people. Amen. Everyone is on a different journey because God has prepared different things for each and every one of us. So our destiny, that purpose, is the journey that God has us on. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are in a journey with God. It is called your destiny. Now what does prosperity mean then? It is this. Prosperity means, and I want you to be writing down if you can, that God will help you on this journey. To be a doctor for the glory of God, to be a preacher for the glory of God, to be a businessman for the glory of God, God will help you on this journey with whatever you need. With whatever you need. And when I say whatever you need, I'm not only talking about what you need just for your own sustenance and for your family and for your children. No, I'm talking about whatever you need to fulfill your purpose. For example, Mother Teresa. She had a vision to minister to the poor and the destitute on the streets of Calcutta. That vision grew and expanded and it went to many several nations. God supplied everything she needed for the fulfillment of the vision, not just for her own survival. Are you getting it? So God will give you everything that you need. Finances, health, wisdom, resources, land, buildings, provision, relationships, connections, emotional strength, faith, courage. Friendship, everything that you need that will ultimately cause you to succeed in reaching your destination. And fulfill His purpose in your life. 
That is what prosperity means. It doesn't mean that everyone will be a millionaire. But yet there are many that can become millionaires if you are called and you're blessed in that arena. But it means everyone will be sufficiently supplied, will be abundantly, abundantly provisioned for you to fulfill your purpose in life. Like I said, Mother Teresa, was she rich and prosperous? Absolutely. But not in our carnal thinking of the word prosperity. Was she rich and prosperous? Yes. She was able to fulfill her dreams and visions and desires with help and resources and money and land and favor coming from all over the world, including governments, even though she may never have owned a house in her own name. Was Michael Jackson rich and prosperous? No. Some of you are saying rich. Yes. No, he wasn't. In fact, I would say he died a very poor man. Poor man. In his soul, in his health, in his life's purpose and fulfillment. So when we teach biblical prosperity, if you thought that every one of us will be millionaires, that everyone will have many cars and many houses and many land, then our thinking was very narrow. And our thinking was corrupted by the world's definition of prosperity. And we're missing the point and we're missing the meaning. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the definition of prosperity. Write this down. Prosperity is the experience of having everything you need. Everything you need in your life to be who you are and fulfill your life's purpose. Prosperity is the experience of having everything you need in your life to be who you are and fulfill your life's purpose. If you need friendships, God will bring. If you need emotional strength, God will bring that. If you need wisdom, God will bring that. If you need favor from government, God will bring that into your life. If you need money, God will bring that in the fulfillment of your life's purpose. 